in our garden, we need to make sure that there's the right balance, the acid pH balance in the dirt for things to grow well. In our body, we need to make sure we have the right balance. Again, I was talking about the sympathetic and parasympathetic or the gas pedal and the brake and finding balance in your nervous system. If you want to be able to really connect with your vagus nerve and your central nervous system, this is a tool that I give out to patients and that I find um, useful to help you really balance. Now, in the lecture that I was talking about, if you go back and watch it, I'll talk about how these parts of the body relate to your chakras. So I found it very interesting that the areas in our body where our nervous system communicates correlates with the chakras. So we have our cardiac plexus or our heart plexus. Just below our rib cage, we have our celiac plexus or solar plexus chakra. Then we have our um, mesenteric plexus, and this has to do with the sacral chakra. And then we have our hypogastric plexus that have to do with your root chakra. And then we go up and our vagus nerve and our nervous system commutes at our throat, so our throat chakra, our optic nerves, our pituitary gland, have to do with our third eye. And then the crown of the head has to do with the limbic system or our crown chakra. So as we go through and balance these, whatever your belief systems are, um, yogis and other practitioners for thousands of years have recognized how when the areas of our nervous system are in imbalance, it might feel different energetically. And so they talked about balancing chakras. If you look at it from an anatomy perspective and our nervous system perspective, we can go in and gently help our body balance. So this technique is used to really help you connect with yourself and calm yourself. So say you have a great deal of anxiety or stress about something. If you can sit and do this, you will be able to help balance your nervous system. So when I teach it to patients to help them remember where to put their hands, I call it the pledge allegiance because I always start and bring everything back to the heart. So either hand can go the right or left, but for this sake, I'm going to keep my right hand over my heart. And so everything we're going to be doing is balancing back to the heart. So we'll start with the celiac plexus. And what I want you to do is place your hands there and close your eyes. And you can then just listen to my voice. If you forget where your hands need to be as we go, you can periodically open your eyes. But first just notice and settle in and feel your breath. Maybe you feel your heartbeat. And as your hands are there, these are major areas where our nerves communicate. They're like roundabouts. And they might feel buzzy under your hand, like a beehive. Or when your computer engine revs, you feel that zing. It might feel like that to you. There's different things that feels to different people. But just start to notice. Does it feel buzzy under one hand or the other? Is one hand more buzzy than the other? And as you do this, you start to ignore your breath and ignore the heartbeat that maybe you feel and just tune into that buzziness. And just notice which hand feels more buzzy. Whichever hand feels more buzzy and the more calm hand you want to try to balance between them. So start to pay more attention to the calm hand and allow things to start to slow down. Maybe before they felt like a wobble or a circular motion or erratic. And now it's starting to settle and slow down. And I find when it really starts to settle and slow down, your two hands almost feel like they're floating on a wave, like two surfers on an ocean. And as it settles, you'll start to notice that that wave slowly moves up towards your head and slowly down towards your legs. And once you feel like that's settled down, keeping your hand on your heart, move your other hand down to your belly or your sacral chakra or your mesenteric plexus. And you're doing the same thing. Noticing which one feels more buzzy, noticing feel, which one feels more calm, and allowing the calm one to slow things down until they're both calm like they're floating on a wave again. You continue to proceed with this down into your root chakra. So that's just above your pubic bone. Again, noticing maybe right or left side feels more buzzy, you can tune into that. And again, allowing them to balance and slow down until they feel like they're floating on a wave. Once you've completed your root chakra, it's nice to work up to your throat chakra. Again, same thing, noticing if there's any buzziness 
or can you allow that to float on that wave? You're completing that as well up into your third eye, um, optic chiasm, allowing that to balance. And then finishing on with your crown chakra. Balancing everything back to your heart. Please doing all of these at your own pace. So once you've learned this, you want to go at your own pace because some of you may be more buzzy in other areas. So balancing them all out and working with that breath is a be beautiful place for you to settle your entire nervous system down. Thank you. <laughs>